Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys have already been subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Today's video is a super exciting one. I'm going to talk about my top five palettes for winter season. When I think of winter palettes, I basically do neutrals, like neutral palettes. Or if I'm putting colors on my eyes, I'm basically leaning towards pinks and purples. That's basically my vibe. I go for that mauve tones or very neutral tones. But I've also included one colorful eyeshadow palette because if I'm going for colors, I am going to stick into that category. <laughs> so let's start off. The first palette that comes across my mind is Going Coconuts palette. And this, I've told you guys, it's in a true sense, a beautiful neutral palette. I mean, the shades in here are absolutely beautiful and perfect for an everyday kind of a use. These shimmers are like unreal. The way this palette has been created, I'm dying to try this more and more every day of my life. So this would be definitely in my rotation for winter palettes. So the next palette that I want to talk about is another drugstore favorite of mine and that's LA Girls Playmate palette. And since I told you that I am into like pinks in like winter season, I feel these shimmers, these mattes are super blendable. The shimmers are unreal. Whenever I come across this palette and I use this on my eyes, I definitely get compliments on my look. I'm definitely, definitely going to use this as my winter palette for sure. And the size is perfect. I mean, I got this for $6, I think. And this is always on sale on Ulta's website. If you guys have not tried this already, I mean, I have had no complaints with this palette. I absolutely love this palette. The next palette that I'm going to talk about is also a Colourpop palette. And this is in collaboration with Raw Beauty Christy. I have created so many looks with this palette, but I still cannot get over it. I mean, these mattes are so blendable. This is definitely a step up over the Colourpop's quality of the eyeshadows. This is super pigmented super blendable but this does not have much of like a kick up uh, when you dip your brush into it and these shades <gasps> this all over the eyes would be so good i cannot wait to do like a monochromatic look using these palettes i mean this is a lovely palette all year round i would say but especially in like winter season i mean uh cannot wait cannot wait <laughs> Okay, the next palette that I'm going to talk about is Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. Now, I know pumpkin and fall season are going to clash, but the pinks and the purples that are there, it's a very light palette. Not talking that it's not pigmented. It is superbly pigmented and the quality is unreal. This is one of my top palettes from 2020. These pinks and the purples all of the eyes, these peachy tones, this like rusty tones, deep browns, deep pinks. I mean, this is all in all a winter palette for me. This is like a roundup for a fall palette as well as winter palette for me. So I'm definitely going to keep this in my winter collection. Now the next palette is totally a new one in my collection. So I'm definitely going to try this. And this is by Ofra Cosmetics. This is not an eyeshadow palette. This is basically like a face palette, but I'm definitely going to try this this winter. I have applied this earlier, but I cannot wait to make like more and more looks out of this because I know that this palette can be so more versatile. Yes, Mithi, show us the palette. So this is in collaboration with Vahida Khan. Now I have tweaked one or two shadows from this palette. So this might not look like your palette if you have this palette already so i basically took off a golden shade from the center and i popped up color pops 143 and here there was like a matte cream shadow now i have matte cream shadow all across the palette and i replaced that with ringer from color pop so this is like a champagne gold shimmer and there was another shadow and the shadow name is sublime in the ofra palette I replaced that with, this is also another Colourpop's shadow and this is in the shade High Strung. It's a similar quality but I like the more reflective nature of High Strung but the colours are very very similar. So that is the changes that I did from this palette. So I think now the palette is so so versatile. Cannot wait to create more uh, eyeshadows 
and the face looks with this palette and the best part about this palette is like you have everything in it you have like options of two highlighters and out of which one it has like everything in it you have two bronzers actually three if you have a darker skin tone and two blushes and one two three four five six seven eight eight eyeshadows you can take your look to places with this palette i feel so i'm definitely gonna keep this in the rotation for my winter palettes and that was my top picks for winter palettes if you do like these series of eyeshadow palettes and face palettes do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye oh before I forget, do enter the giveaway. It's going to close soon. All the details would be included in the description below. So definitely check that out and enter into that giveaway. Bye.